welcome. I was having a conversation the other day with one of my oldest friends. We were sort of reminiscing about high school, the high school years, uh, particularly about a boyfriend that she used to have, a terrible boyfriend. Every single time they got into a fight and she wanted to break up with him, he would say, if you break up with me, I'm going to kill myself. He would threaten suicide every time that she wanted to break up with him. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, looking back on that, what emotional abuse that was. We were talking about that because now we're adults, obviously, we're in our 30s, and we can look back on those times and think, wow, adult maybe, an adult maybe should have intervened uh, in that relationship. And that kind of got me thinking, because textbook emotional abuse and uh, blackmail kind of seems to be the way of the world right now, particularly when it comes to our government. They're constantly telling us, do this, or death on the other end of it, just like her boyfriend, right? So it's wear a mask, or you are going to kill the people around you. Wear a mask or granddad's going to die. I mean, that's emotionally abusive. It's psychologically abusive to constantly think that if you don't do something, you're going to die. And by the way, it's not like it just got started with the coronavirus in terms of our government using this as a tactic. It's actually started a long time ago, uh, especially in terms of the climate change lobby. I mean, is there anything that's more aggressive in terms of telling people that they are going to die than when it comes to climate change. I know a lot of parents at home that watch my show have children that are growing up right now in the world who actually believe that in 10 years, they're not going to have a planet to live on. That, that is real. There are children that are suffering psychological trauma in school learning that they're not going to have a planet to live in in a few years. That's a scary thing to go through. And if you are one of those adults, I wanna make sure you share this clip with your son or your daughter because it's important that they know a few things. The first thing they should know is that they are not the first generation that was told that they are going to die, it, especially when it pertains to the climate. In fact, I remember when I was growing up, it was similar. You're, you're, the planet's gonna be gone in 10 years if you don't do this, and guess what? I actually believed it when I was in school. So here's a list of just some of the things that maybe your, your parents or your grandparents may have gone through. In 1975, they said that there was going to be dire famine. Dire famine, people were going to all die because there wasn't gonna be enough food on the planet. There also was, of course, global cooling. You might be a person that lived that generation where they told you that there was going to be a new ice age by the 21st century. Of course, that didn't happen. I think the most traumatic among them has to be the people that lived through acid rain. They told them that the oceans were going to become acidic and then acid rain was going to pour from the sky. Could you imagine being scared? every time it rains as a child. Can you imagine thinking today's gonna be the day the acid rain is going to pour down because we haven't done enough to protect the planet. That actually happened, of course, the acid rain never came, but that didn't stop people. Of course, they said the ozone layer, there was the ozone layer hole. Oh my God, the world's going to end, except it didn't end. So they shifted gears and they said, we're gonna eventually run out of water. That was another one. And of course, in my generation, it was global warming. Global warming, global warming everywhere. They forced us to actually watch in health class Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth. And I remember being terrified because the sea levels were rising. They told us that in 10 years, Florida was going to be underwater. They were make, placing bets. Florida will be underwater unless you kids, you guys at home, unless you do something. Here's what I'm going to recommend to you. Uh, it's a book called Inconvenient Facts written by Gregory Wrightstone. And it is something that completely changed my perspective on climate change. It's something that all children should read. If your children are fearful that the world is going to end, they should know that the left always promises an apocalypse. They've done it many, many times. And of course, we know the reason why. It's because they want to extract money. They want to be able to raise trillions and trillions of dollars on fear. Children are going to commit to having the government tax them into perpetuity because there's some climate crisis that they need to fix. So here are just a few, by the way, of those inconvenient facts that he lists in this uh, book that I think are important. First and foremost, we are living in one of the coldest periods in all of Earth's history. Oops, so much for everyone telling us that global warming and carbon dioxide, which by the way is plant food, is going to make things so terrible. More CO2 means more plant growth. More CO2 helps to feed more people worldwide. The number of tornadoes is declining. Extreme heat events are declining. There has been no increase in frequency of hurricanes in recent data. Forest fires across the Northern Hemisphere are also decreasing. So, you know, they shifted gears away from global warming and pushed it towards climate change because 
unfortunately, in 2011, actually the Earth started to cool a bit. So they said, uh-oh, we got to move, and now it's just climate change. Every time a climatic event happens, they want you to go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, climate change. The world is ending. It's not ending. It is not ending. There's not going to be some event other than your government attempting to grow and using children to do that. It's a form of child abuse. I believe it is a form of child abuse. Worse than that, it's a cult. I believe it is a climate doomsday cult. And just like every doomsday cult, when they don't meet the deadline, they just transform it and go, actually, no, 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 no. The doomsday is going to be a little bit later. Well, guys, I'm pleased to tell you that today is my birthday. This is my birthday episode. And for whatever reason, I, Candace Owens, have managed to survive so many leftist apocalypses. I survived Y2K. I survived acid rain. I survived the coronavirus. They just cannot get rid of me. Here's to another year and welcome to Candace.